What's one thing we need to know about Samuel this season, sort of going into it? Uh, the, just the fact that we left him at the end of season six in a place of relative happiness, achieving everything he'd ever wanted to achieve, getting to the place, the one place in the world where he's accepted, where he's welcome, where his own ideas aren't ridiculed, his own passions and interests aren't seen to be worthless. So we left him at season six in a place of happiness. Whether he starts season seven in a place of happiness is a completely different question. You know with Game of Thrones that they don't like to keep people happy for very long. Yeah, might that have something to do with Jim Broadbent being a, a maester? Jim Broadbent is going to bring the happiness to people no matter what. I think I, I, when I first found out that Jim was going to do this season and that I'd be working with him, it, 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 it's that strange moment of where you're excited but you're also kind of terrified that they've given you this Oscar winning actor and this legend and this hero and this great staple of acting. They've given him me to work with and I just hoped that I didn't let him down. I hoped I didn't look too terrible in comparison. And uh, he, he was just a real joy to work with. So I think he's going to bring a lot to the show. How's, uh, how are Samuel and Gilly doing this season? Are they more of a family, even more, you know? Well, this is the problem. Might there be a wedding? Well, this is the thing about, about Gilly and Sam. They've been so close for a long time, but that's mainly because Sam probably didn't have thousands of books at his disposal. It'd be interesting to find out if their relationship can survive such a massive distraction for Sam.